Welcome back everybody, this is the Johnny Mayor, and I am continuing with Soul Nomad and the World Eaters. So we are going to head into town and we are going to check in with Kristoff to learn a little bit more about Yesterwind and possibly about Cuthbert as well. Is that right? Cuthbert and Yesterwind, huh? I've been trying to keep an eye on my sly little brother these days. I'll make sure we watch him even closer now. So you think you can find out where they took my sister? I don't see why not. But I must apologize, Levin. I'm to blame for what happened to her. I'll make sure we find her. Trust me. Please, do whatever you can. I don't buy it. Hmm? What do you mean? You and that snotty brother of yours. I'm sick of you acting like you're just some innocent bystander in all this. How about you come clean with us? What? What are you talking about? I'll tell you. And I'll use nice small words just for you. He's too quick. He's always got a plan ready, even two seconds after we tell him what's going on. What I want to know is, what's your angle? If you're thinking of backstabbing us, I'll slit your throat right now. Hmm. I suppose I can tip my cards now. Honestly, I feel bad about it, but Vitaly's been reporting to me on everything that's been happening. I thought I made it clear that I don't do charity work. Call it spying, if you must. But I'm not trying to use you, and I have no intention of making you my enemy. Of course, in the beginning, I hadn't ruled anything out. <laughs> don't you ha-ha us, Chuckles. You really expect us to believe you don't have a hidden agenda here? I haven't figured you out yet, but I'm sure it's there. You maggots do some stupid shit after all. Justice, love, hope. All these pathetic false ideals push people to do some really retarded stuff. Your opinion is not without merit. Oh, I was left totally out of the loop again, huh? Come now, it's just a matter of using the right man for the job. I mean, you're just not very good at deception. And you're certainly not good at sneaking around, you see? But I do apologize. From now on, I won't hide anything from any of you. Maybe it doesn't mean much, but I swear to fully cooperate with you from now on. But I'll still need time to collect and analyze all the information. So take this chance to empty your minds and fill your stomachs. There's some truly legendary hot pods awaiting you. <laughs> I still don't like you, but I'll gladly eat your food. Hey, kid, get moving. Go, go, go. What? No way. You're not eating them all this time. Guess he's not concerned that they might be poisoned. A freaking ton! I guess I'm content now, especially with that sneaky bastard Kristoff out of our hair. Now that I've had my fill, let's go get some sleep. Um, not quite yet, actually. We have another opportunity to potentially increase some infinity with 11 if you want, or you can just go to sleep. But I am gonna actually check in with Kristoff to learn more about Yesterwind. Because obviously this is an organization that we're going to have to face eventually. So the most information we can get, the better. So they're kind of a secret, black market, behind the scenes kind of organization. Ruthless Sap, huh? Interesting. Hmm. I 
wonder what that other case is. So what is Cuthbert in all of this? Maybe. Well, that isn't suspicious. You probably used Yesterwin then. Not really, but uh, thanks for pointing it out. Not quite a uh, Children of Men situation yet, for those of you that have seen that movie, but seems like kids are kind of in short supply around here for some reason. Kristoff's kind of always had this older brother, kind of surrogate father type relationship with Cuthbert. And, you know, that makes sense that you would tend to look past potential suspicious things or bad things that someone does when you have kind of that relationship with them. Oh man, another dream. Can you cure it? Will he be okay? Don't get too close. Scarlet Iago is highly contagious. Remember that it's consumed most of the country already. I just want to know if he's going to live! I'm sorry. The rash has spread across his entire body. All we can do now is pray. I don't want to hear that. There are no gods for us! Sir, please calm down. <laughs> I was mistaken, Dio. There is one God, but I will not pray to him. Lord Median, what? Even if my child must be taken, he will be the last victim. Kind of a precursor to the scene we saw recently. Median? What's he doing in my dreams? Mine? Yours? Why are our dreams connected? It can't just be a coincidence. No, of course not. Somehow that old hag's to blame. I'm sure of it. Well, that would make the most sense. Probably when we were fused together, something happened with our dreams being connected. But now it is two days later. You still don't have anything. It's been two days already. Hey, boy, cool it. Don't you tell me to cool it. You're not the one whose sister's waiting for his brother to save her. Damn it! Hello, everyone. Sorry this took so long. But we've discovered where Cuthbert's been moving back and forth from. The third world theater can be found near the country of Orvista. Now, to the east, there's an area called the Ensnarelands. Our scouts always seem to lose Cuthbert as he arrives there. Anyone who's gone in hasn't come out, so we have no intel on the area. But if you're really determined... Alright, great, awesome! What are we waiting for? I'm waiting for the day when you finally shit yourself in excitement, but I don't know about anyone else. <laughs> I don't think he heard you. Oh, and I'm going with you this time. I won't be taking any bodyguards, so I trust you'll protect me. Why are you coming with us? 
First, to show I was serious about being honest with you. Second, there's someone I've been searching for. Someone who risked his life to save me. Someone to whom I owe everything. He became a fugitive because of what he did for me. And I think I can find some answers once we find yesterday. He saved me before. And it's time I return the favor. Unlike then, I now have the means to do that. Now, let's not waste any more time. We don't want Levin to arrive first and act as our diplomat now, do we? Uh, heck no. And uh, despite what he said, the ensnare lands are actually to the south, and we do have one more scene to go through. Are you okay? Now, didn't I ask you to call me Trish? Um, Trish? Uh? Yes? Uh, nothing. Let's just go. Oh, all right. Poor Levin. Trish. Well, there you go, Levin. She threw you a bone. T -t 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 Trish! Yes? Oh, dear. Levin, are you holding your breath? You're bright red. <laughs> oh, let's just go. Um, Trish? Indeed. Let us go forth. Well, that was awkward. But next time we're going to head into the Ensnare Lands and we are going to take on a battle. Which is a nice change of pace after all of this storyline. So as always viewers, thanks for watching and I will see you all next time when we take on some interesting new characters. Thanks for watching. So long.